Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? I hope we all had a safe and productive week. All right, um, yes, I apologize about last week, but uh, the wife took me away for a couple of days. We went to Margaritaville here in Orlando. Um, had a good time, needed a little rest. We've just been so busy at work, but better than the alternative of not having work. All right, so today I found I actually found this on, what is that, Pinterest? Uh, it was a feed that came up, a new Craig product. Um, actually, it's called the Pocket Hole Jig. It's the 520, well, 520 Pro. And I actually found it at Home Depot today uh, when I went there. And basically, it is a glorified, portable pocket hole jig. You know, like that little small one that has the three holes in it, you know, like this plate. And then you would clamp it down and you take your drill and your bit and you drill through. Well, this thing is pretty cool. I watched some videos and I decided to buy it. It's $99. And basically it comes with this tool, which actually revolves eight different ways to handle then you pump it to lock it. You release the lever here to open it. And then this is a lock that will lock this so that it doesn't move if you accidentally hit this while you're working on it. It has the three hole positions just like all of the other jigs. And then on the side here, it's got two gray. So you got one here and one here. And you squeeze it and you move. It's a little stiff right now. So here's, say, inch and a half, you know, two by four. Then you go down to the middle one, and you pull it so it locks in, and now you're at three quarter, then you have half inch. This could be used this way or this way. And as you can see, I've been playing with it. Then you can buy the optional clamp that will slide into this bottom track here, and you clamp it to the table. But other than that, it's very stable. It's designed so that no matter which way you're going to use it, either this way or this way. So let's just say you got your piece of wood in there. You clamp it. You can put a piece of three-quarter. Let's just get it. Okay. You can put a piece of three-quarter. Let's move this so we can get it. You can see it. And now you stabilize your board. And the same thing with this way. You stabilize your board. So the bases of three quarters of an inch. So you can use a piece of three quarter as a little horse. All right? So it comes with the clamp. Of course, it comes with an instruction sheet and a little card with other tools on it. Comes in this box. You get the standard drill bit, but I'm using one that I already have set. So you get the standard drill bit. Let me grab the other two little pieces here. For those of you that are new to the Craig system, there's three markings, half inch, three quarter, an inch and a half. And then you have your little stop. And when you line this up, what you want to do is you want to see the number or the fraction in this little window here. And then you tighten it down with the provided Allen key. Give it a snug, and then you got that little L part that you can get a little bit more torque on it. And now you're set for three quarter. You move it down here to half inch or up here to inch and a half. So, uh, excuse me, up here for half inch, down here for inch and a half because you want it deeper. And then it comes with your long bit. Then it comes with a box. I didn't even notice how many are in here. I think there's 125. Nope, sorry, 60 on the inch and a quarter, which is good for three quarter. And you get 42 and a half inch, which is good for uh, two and a half, uh, excuse me, an you know, uh, inch and a half, like a two by four. And then if you're going to do half inch, you need one inch. And you get a bonus mini clamp. And it's not the uh, uh, self-adjusting. You have to adjust it just like uh, a vice grip on the back. All right, so. How does it work? It works very simple. I have the three quarter inch piece of wood in there. I'm gonna go with the two outer holes. 
No, there is no vacuum. So it's not like the large one up there where it has the vacuum attachment. So, you know, you're gonna be, you know, sucking up sawdust. Um, but, you know, for something portable, you're gonna go to your mother's house, your girlfriend's house, your, your cousin's house, and you're gonna fix something or you're gonna do some pocket holes in a, in a project. Perfect thing to bring with you. It'll fit right in your toolbox. It'll fit right in your toolbox. So, I gotta hold it because like, a, you know, so it's not clamped down, but nice, right in, one hole. Two holes. Now, I didn't lock it, but you can turn this. Actually, it was locked. You turn this knob right here, and it unlocks. But you see here, if I lock it, sorry, I had to turn the wrong way. So, if you close it, and then lock it, now it won't go in, unlock it, now it'll open. So now there's your two pocket holes. I'm gonna use our RAD holder. Grab two inch and quarter screws. Use the ones that come with it. Always start your, always start your screws in the hole. Don't put it on the, uh, because you want to push it. So when you put these in, the way I found these to be the best way to install these <clears throat> is clear out the hole, of course. Push in the screw. Get it in as far as you can get it. So push the screw in. It ain't going in any further. Once it stops, it stops. That's it, because you got to drill it the rest of the way. But push it in. Get your thing nice and squared here. I'm just going to hold it. There's one. Now, on a new screw, it's, you got to give it a little wiggle. It does lock in there. And there you go. There's your pocket hole. Smooth, besides the little smooth as could be. That's it. There's your pocket hole. It's a little portable. <clears throat> now, if I wanted to do another one, say, on this side, put that in, get my piece of wood in there. Always put the piece of wood in there first. It's better to have the wood in there so that you know it's level. Then give it, you give it a lock so it doesn't move on you. Oh, look what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm so used to the foreman. Nice and slowly, there's no rush. Unlock it. Clean that out. Remember everything gotta be nice and nice and flat. Nice and flat. If any little deviation will make this thing not go in straight. Get your screws in there. And if you got six screws, put six screws in. It's the best way. Put them in. Then remember these things don't you don't have to go super watch the joint. If you glue it, watch the joint. It, you'll see it squeeze right in. The glue will squeeze right out. That's it. There you go. There's your pocket hole. Now you want to take them out. Reverse your drill. You know, I know a lot of guys are like, ah, pocket holes, it's not for real. Carpentry, baloney. These things. I tested one. I pocket hole two boards together, put it on a, pe on a piece of brick, a brick, and drove my car truck on it, and the pocket hole didn't break. The wood broke. Once this thing is glued in and screwed in, and you fill these with those wood plugs, it ain't coming out. And see, that's it. Two nice little holes. Four holes because I messed around with it before. 
So that's it. Ninety nine dollars, and you're doing you're doing pocket holes up the yin yang. Yeah, I ain't gonna trip on that. All right. So let's get our little R A bit. I love these things. Love them. All right. What else did we get here? All right, here's a tool I did a review on like two years ago. And I've never, uh, actually I did an unboxing, and I never did a review on it. This thing, this ratchet right here, all right, it is the 2457-20 M12 ratchet, all right? You turn, it's got battery indicator it'll take both uh, small battery and large battery I actually have a 3.0 XC battery in here and what this is perfect for is for those of you that assemble like say quarter inch or 3 8 inch nuts and bolts for us when we use our unistrut or what I call Kindorf the clips that hold our pipe together you either got to take either like an open end wrench or a ratchet and another open end wrench or a screwdriver and an open end wrench or a ratchet and make it up while you're holding a piece of pipe. Now, if it's half and three quarter pipe, it's not a lot of weight, but try it on two inch pipe and you got to get this thing clamped level. So you got a level on it, one guy's holding it, two guys are holding it, and you got to get the clamp. Once you get the clamp in, it holds. You can do chin ups on it. It's so strong. So let's just say we have. Um, a quarter by 20 nut and bolt and that's normally what I'm going to be making up between two clamps right there and a lot of times I use the fiber nuts so you're only getting them on a certain thread and what we do is now of course this is a Phillips but I'm gonna hold it with a pair of uh, pliers and <laughs> we get the Phillips in there and most of the time it'll hold and then we just get that it's a 7 16 and of course I got it on reverse got that nice little light there we go and with a deep socket makes it right up and the torque on it it makes it up perfectly so that it clips the two metal together and it holds the pipe and then if you want say say you got to take it off it's a, like a gentleman you take it off and this thing with with one of these 3 old batteries gotta let you days so if you're like an electrician a plumber like me um, and this isn't necessarily running gas pipe it could be running uh, conduit it could be PVC you use these or no hub this is perfect it's not like it's gonna break rusty bolts you're not doing automotive and you can you can I got one in there that I use with my automotive but this thing is phenomenal so again it is the uh, 2457-20 again everything in the description below and the price this was uh, $129.95 tool only tool only and highly recommended highly recommended tool all right um, my last little thing here I'll show you this other stuff here I picked up this is uh, Milwaukee's pack out it's the new 4822 well, 48-22-8429. It's the large packout bottom without the wheels and without the handle. Now, if you have one or if you're looking to purchase one, it's larger than the wheeled piece. It's the same size this way, but it's taller. And it's this exact same you know, locking top where you can get the pieces on, one large, two small, however you want to do it. It comes with a tray. It comes with a tray and that little piece of paper. But it's deeper. And this thing, you can get the, as a matter of fact, I got one. You see it? Look at that. Gets the saws all in. 
That's how, how nice and big it is. You can get a circular saw in here. You can get a lot of different tools. But the reason that I bought it, and it's so funny, I got this thing sitting here. I've never used it. Between that little compact 24 volt or the 12 volt, this big one, I've never used. The other one's got so much power. The, um, what I bought this for, now, the Home Depot finally had it. It's $99. $99 everywhere. And I ordered one from the tool nut when it pre-ordered it, and it came in. What I want to use these for is not for tools. I want to put my large Renai parts boxes in here. And I've already put 11 fairly decent sized boxes in this. So like PC boards, fan motors, burners, uh, burner assemblies, uh, gas valves, things called Venturis that I need to carry two on my truck because we changed so many of them. I want to put my parts in here and then lock it to the plate and leave it low because then when I need it, I'll just remove the top boxes, get into this, and now it's my storage box. Because the new truck, which whenever I get a VIN number for this damn thing, I've left two messages already this week um, when the hell this, I'm getting a VIN number. I, I just want a VIN number. Uh, not even, you know, oh, the truck is on the assembly line. I, want a, I need a VIN number so I can get the wraps made already. So I'm purchasing everything that I need. I got the measurements. I'm going to start building the bins. That's going to be a couple of next videos. I'm going to be building the bins for my... Um, uh, uh, Sortana, the, the, uh, yeah, the Sistana 3s, um, I'm going to be, and the Sortana with those little boxes, so I'm going to be building that, I'm going to build some racks, and then I, last, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you the, uh, shelf system for this, but this I want to use on the floor, put some more, the drawers on top of it, and then when I need to, I can just take off the top, boom. Now, no handle, it just has two nice side handles and then it's got little if you want to grab it here there's enough girth here to grab it but it's got the same side rails the same locking pieces it's got the locking feature it has a waterproof gasket inside of it same latches same everything and the handles locked down on the side you can put it to another one if you wanted to it's not just the bottom piece it's well, now, like the rolling one, that's a bottom. There's nothing underneath it. So I'm going to keep one roller, and I got like four rollers I bought because I never knew they were going to come out with this. So I bought four rollers, and I figured I'd use the rollers and put the parts in it. When this thing came in and it's a little bit taller, I, can, I got more real estate in here. And real estate inside of a smaller truck is importante. So that's that. And... Um, I well, might as well show you. I picked up some more Weira stuff. Um, I, I picked up a couple more Weira things. Um, I got this uh, A-Torx, and it's the um, long Torx bits. I love these tools. And it's the long quarter-inch Torx I need. Okay, so it's five inches. They give it a millimeter, but it's five inches. comes in a nice carry case. So it's got uh, point. It's got two five two seven. It's got excuse me two five two seven three zero and four zero on the on the torque space. Then I got this tool check, which you know. And for those of you that follow my Renai guy, and I know I'm wearing my Renai shirt today, not the Mike's Woodshop shirt. This is the tool check. You know how much I love this, but this is the SAE. I bought. I have metric, but every now and then I need. SAE. Well, this is the SAE. It's the same, it's exact same thing with the tilting front. It's got the safety bit, the security bits, Torx bits, Allen bits. It's got the um, adapter piece for the ratchet and the screwdriver. But this one comes with 3 16 quarter, 5 16 11 30 seconds, 3 8 7 16 and half inch. And it's the uh, SAE. And then I got this Zeit Bop quarter inch set. I love this ratchet. 
This ratchet is probably the best ratchet I've ever used. So it has the push. So right now, you see, I can't release. It's got the push and release. Then it's got, there's your one way, you turn the back, there's your other way, but it's got that feature. And now I'll show you why I love this feature. I got the extension now, and these extensions, so see, push to hold. So when you put the piece on, you put the bit on, you push your button here, Yes, there we go. But come on. Hold on. There we go. All right. So now it's on. Then you push the button. Come on. There we go. And now it comes off. Brand new. So it's got to get broken in. So let's just say I have this on. And I use this. And I always use this long extension. And I take off the nut. Now instead of keep going like this, I just bring it up like this and I turn the whole thing this way. And then to make it up, I turn it back until it's hand tight. I bring it back, turn it back to that, and now make it up. I love it. It, it, it makes my job so much easier when replacing um, like gas valves and stuff on the tankless heaters. So it's got the swivel, it's got the uh, bit adapter, and it goes up to 14 millimeter. It starts at 4 millimeter and I use 7 and 8 millimeter and, and it's got it's got a regular um, extension but this is the extension you can actually offset it a little bit. See how the tip is see how this is different than this tip? You can offset this tip a little bit. Again Germans German tool people can't beat them Best tool. Can't beat them. So that's uh, that's some of my new toys. But they're just sitting here right now until I get my get my truck. So that's that. And then I'll, and then I got some got the bag. And then from uh, Nipex, I got these long uh, needle nose and pinch pliers and they also have a little like open end I mean um, jaw system here and then I got this duck bill pliers adjustable love that push adjust then this these are actually hose clamps so it's that uh, uh, spring that the two tabs you grab it you squeeze it push it on you release it and it locks the hose on you find that on uh, dishwashers and then I got the uh, uh, crimp on, steak on, uh, crimp, cramp on, crimp on, whatever you want to call it, pliers. So it's all just sitting here for now. All right, YouTube. Oh, I got uh, I made up some boards here. I'm going to be doing uh, uh, a charcuterie board. That'll be a video soon. So I cut up some different boards, and I'm trying to lay it out right now. Yeah, see what I like as far as that charcuterie board. Um, it's a glorified cutting board. Actually, you don't cut on it. You put cheeses and meats and fruits and stuff like that. And they like making it for parties, so I said, make one. All right, all right, YouTube. Uh, everything will be in the description below. Uh, model numbers, pricing. My email will be below. Um, you got a question, you want a Mike's Woodshop sticker, just send me an email or with your info and I'll send it to you. All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I think, yeah, the next video we're going to start building some of the bins. I want to get them built and I want to get them painted and I want to get them stored so that I have them. Once the truck comes in, I can get them assembled in there. And that'll be a whole video on the truck, like my other big one. All right, YouTube. You all be safe out there, and you have a pleasant weekend and week. Bye-bye now.